welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make these cards so these are some sympathy shakers and i'm going to show you how to make a blue one but i did make another one which is using yellow and orange um so i'm taking a four by four inch card some vellum and then i'm taking a with Dim deeper sympathy die cut i bought these off a girl on ebay because i don't really want to buy a lot of dies um especially if i'm not going to use them that often so i will link her down below i highly recommend her um but if you can find the, the normal die then you don't need to worry about it um so i'm taking some nuvo smooth precision glue um to glue the die cut to some vellum now normally i would use my multi matte medium but i found that using this little pen gives you a more precise placement of where you're putting your glue um, especially on the small thinner strips um so yeah that's why i'm using this um so basically um i put a poll up on let's make cards facebook group and i asked people what they wanted to see more of because i know people struggle with making certain themed cards and i'm one of those people like i always struggle with making sympathy cards you know i never know what to put and if i'm being honest i don't really want to see flowers all the time so i try and think of something a bit different um but i was just searching on ebay one day and i came across these and i thought you know i'd love to make a vellum shaker because using vellum tones down a lot of the colors so if even if i put like hot pink sequins in it would dull it down so it wouldn't be too much of a bright pink so i think every time you use vellum for a sympathy card it just works um because it has that kind of tone i guess you could say so like this card was probably really simple probably one of the simplest cards i've ever made um but <laughs> i was trying to be quick for two reasons one obviously it was getting really warm in the attic um, because it did hit 26 the other day and in my attic it was actually 37 so it was really warm in my attic and the second reason is my mom just got a new kitten and I didn't really want to leave her too much on her on her own so yeah so I just cut that out and I just added some double-sided foam tape which took forever to cut so my recommendation is to find some decent scissors my scissors just didn't want to cut through it um so yeah so this is what that looks like um i was gonna just leave it white on white but i ended up taking my distress oxide tumbled glass and i'm just gonna do some ink blending with that and i obviously just put some tape in the card to stop it from moving but tumbled glass is my most go-to ink color now i just think it's a beautiful color you know, and I kept saying to myself that I wasn't going to buy any Distress Oxides or Distress Inks and I think I have like three different ones now. So I have the Tumble Glass, which I bought. I have Picked Raspberry, which was a gift from a girl from the US called Lana. And then I have another one, which was a gift from Amanda. And again, she's from the US. Um, and I think that was in Kitsch Flamingo. Um, so I have quite a couple of distress inks obviously it's not a lot because like there's so many but i am sort of like branching out so if you guys could let me know down in the comments where you buy your distress inks i think the cheapest i found them is on ebay for just under six pounds for the, the full size um but if i can get like four minis for the same price i'd be really happy um so yeah let me know down in the comments guys so once i finished ink blending as you can see, I kind of ink blended my finger. Um, <laughs> didn't even register in my head. Um, I went in with some sequins. So the sequins I used, I got off eBay. So I'm just going to use that kind, that blue, and then the rest of them are from the range sequin set. So I used three different types of blue shades and some white, just so they stood out a little bit. And I think one of the blues actually disappears into the background um, because obviously it's literally the same shade so I did a really good job with that um but yeah so as you can see I'm just like trying to work out where the sequins are gonna go and how many sequins I'm gonna fit in so if you guys want to know where I get my little storage things from um for my sequins I did do a video um in July um which was sequin storage but you can also use it for gems or if you do diamond art 
so yeah that video will be linked in my description because that one will already be up but it was a really warm day when i was doing this and if i'm being totally honest with you guys i didn't sleep at all when i was filming this so it's another reason why i wanted something so simple but then i realized like half of this stuff isn't even straight so that's just me being really tired and not even checking so i do apologize guys if you're like me and when you eventually see it you're like oh i wish i could change that and like make it better but you know i was just too tired um so yeah <laughs> um bit of a stressful week i guess you could say so um once I've done that, I'm just adhering the panel on, and I love how it turned out, guys. I really do. Um, I think you could do all sorts of color combinations. I think a purple one with white would be great, you know. Um, and the only color I don't think would be appropriate would be red and black, I guess you could say. But, like I said, the vellum does tone down a lot of the color, so... There you go. That's what that looks like. So I'm going to use my Wink of Stella pen. And I'm also bringing in some Ocean Breeze embellishments. And I'm just going to adhere three of those so it just doesn't look too plain on the outside. So originally I was going to use the same sequins, but because they're all the same size, it just doesn't look great. So, but the video idea for this actually came from a card idea that I had for a wedding. So that video will be up before this as well so it's not exactly filmed in the right order but i was waiting for my sequins to come because the color theme that her wedding is i didn't have any sequins in that so her color theme for her wedding is rose gold and ivory and i didn't have any sequins or even any embellishments with that so i wanted to make sure that i did have something for it so that's why i waited and that's why I ended up doing this video first. Um, but yeah. So, as I said, I'm just bringing in my Wink of Stella pen. And I'm just going over the word, the wording. Um, and it just adds a little extra to the card. But I absolutely love this car kind of card. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, because the week before, I made three sympathy cards for my family. Because um my uncle we got told to prepare for the worst so when i'm actually ed editing this i still don't know if he's gonna you know outlive his timeline i guess you could say or if he's already passed um but if he has i just want to say i'm very sorry for everybody's loss um but you know unfortunately it's part of life and you don't get to choose when or where you go but yeah so I'm just taking my personal stamp with the tumble glass because I want it to stay within the theme. And that is that card, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, Like I said, I made another one which was using the exact same technique, but it was using a different color combination. So I used yellows and a pale orange with white. And I used over the rainbow for the embellishments on the outside. So let me know down in the comments which one was your favourite and make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment and go over to my Instagram, follow me over there, show me some love and I'll show you some love back. Otherwise I will see you in my next video guys, stay safe and happy crafting!